We have a storage as an item, meaning they can carry a portable stash or container in their inventory. And they can also place it anywhere or if they want to move somewhere then they can pack this up this is a popular feature for 5m servers as it adds realism and utility so this storage has different storage capacity if you want to add others to have an access of this storage then it is possible here now if you are interested about this creep actually this is free guys and you can use it all right then let's go to the tutorial First of all, we have to download the script. On the description, I added my Discord. And I put the download link on that Discord. So check that out and let's download this. Once you're in a GitHub page, you look for this latest icon to get the latest version. And on the next page, you have to select this one to download the file. Now that you successfully downloaded the file, you need to extract it using WinRAR or any unarchiver you have. Then head over to your 5M resources and you can put it anywhere. Anyways, today I'm going to put it inside of standalone folder. Next is we have to open the folder. There's an SQL inside. We need to install that one. Open it and you'll see there is a code snippet inside. Then open your Heidi SQL. In this video, I am using Heidi SQL to open up my database. This time I do have two different kinds of database and i'm going to open the local one this time you'll have to copy codes right here and you have to upload it on your database Congrats, you just added the SQL. The last one is we have to install the items in our inventory. Just go back and open the scripts folder and look for readme file. Once you open it, you have to highlight the items and then you have to copy it. This time, I'm currently using an OX inventory so I have to open the OX folder. So I have to open the OX inventory and I have to go inside of that data and open the items file. And here we go. Just head to the bottom. And in here, I'm going to paste the code. And of course, don't forget to save this. Now that you added the code of the items, of course, you need to add the images of that item too. Just head back to the scripts folder. And open the images folder. Inside, you have to copy this one. And then we then go back to OX inventory. Then we go to the web folder. And inside of the images, we have to paste the items here it's good but there is a missing dependency that we need to add and it is object gizmo it is optional but recommended so we have to add this it's so simple you just have to copy this one then go to google and paste it here and open this github thing right here and as you can see guys there's a latest version so you we have to select this one and click that source code and it will automatically download to our download folder so we need to extract it since it's a winrar okay then open the folder and of course we need to rename this one and after that we have to copy this folder into our standalone folder This time, I use txadmin to edit the server CFG, but of course, you can also open this into your browser. Just type in localhost 4120. And then at the lower button, you will see there are a lot of insure right here. You just have to add insure and the name of the folder, which is object gizmo. You just have to rename this and copy and paste it here and of course the second one is you know let's rename this this is dm storage thanks to dm for creating this script
So actually, you have to uh, press F2 and then it will be highlighted and then click copy. Of course, the next one is we have to ensure it and paste the DM storage. Make sure that it is not a big liter. This one is not a big liter. The D is not a big liter. Okay. And then save that one and go to console. Where's the console here? So let's make, make it bigger. Go to live console and clear and restart. So as you can see guys, object gizmo is running first before the DM storage. Now let's try if it works inside of the game. So let's open the game. And here we go guys, we're inside the game. So let's spawn the item which is, you know, storage large and storage small. So let's start with a small and let's start with the medium and the large so these are the three different items we have for our storage so let's start with a small so let's use it so you can press enter and e to place it sorry about that my camera is not right so let's try again in the second one so let's use this storage medium and you can adjust the uh, location to where you want to put the the box or you can rotate it using uh, or typing R on your keyboard and enter and press A or you can press backspace and the third one is the large one so to switch back so just press W it's a translate mode and enter and, and there you go guys so let's try to add you know water give item one water let's say 500 so I've got 500 here so let's open the storage and let's try to to add like 100 100 and let's try another one and it will not you know if it exceed the kill the limit of it then it will not add up okay so you can adjust the config a bit if you want and the other one here so it says 5 400 kilograms so let's try it if it can carry up so there you go and of course guys there's an option you can pack up let's try to pack up even though the items is already inside so let's use it again e and enter and open the storage and it's gone <laughs> and this is the large uh, actually that's the large one and the, this is the medium so it's a uh, 200 kilograms so it depends on you if you adjust the config file if you want to change it you can just change it okay then if you want to add someone you can click this manage access so just type the id and then it will automatically add here or you can rebook it anytime okay so you can move of course you can move this one and enter and e that's it so it's you know it's helpful but the problem is but the problem is here is that when you store something like this one like this one we have to open the inventory there is an the, there is an item here and let's try to uh, restart the server okay so let's start the server let's see if it will remain in the same location if it will then it's good if not then it's not good and here we go we're inside of the you know the game and oh it's still here haha <laughs> it's still here 
and that's it guys if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like this one okay if you have any comments you can comment down below if you have problems okay bye bye